Hi there, Julie Perry here from YouTube Secret Weapon with some information regarding your YouTube video embeds. And that is specifically how to embed either high quality or high definition, that's HD videos, onto your blog or website. Because, in case you didn't know, and this is actually great news, HD and high quality videos are now available on YouTube. Some users caught on that they were beginning to test this back in November, but it was actually just back on December 18th that YouTube made it official by announcing it on its blog. Now, what they told us here, though, is that they will now allow for playback of videos on YouTube, the site, in either high quality or high definition. But what they failed to tell us is how we go about embedding either the high quality or HD versions of our videos onto our blogs, our websites, or other places online such as forums, what have you. So to show you how to do this, because there is a trick to it, let me go over to the web and when I do that, here we have a very famous video. You may recognize it. This is the Where the Hell is Matt video. And actually, what you're probably familiar with is the 2006 version of this video, which you see right down here. Now, in 2008, they uploaded the high-definition version of this video. And please note that in order to have this option show up for high-definition videos, you will need to have obviously shot, rendered, and uploaded the high-definition version of your video. If you do, what you'll find is right down here is the option to watch the video in playback in high-definition. Now, for videos not up uploaded in HD, and that is videos uploaded recently and from here on out, there are settings you can use, such as with our YouTube Secret Weapon promo video that we put up just last week, to watch that video back in high quality. Not HD, but high quality. Again, that link will be right down here beneath the video. Of course, people who have videos up from a long time ago, and we'll go ahead and call these old school videos, such as my The Motors TV episodes. Note this one was all the way back from November of 2007, pretty much the dinosaur era of YouTube. Notice there is no link beneath this video to watch it in any kind of high anything. It is just old school, poor quality, never going to get it better. You'd have to re-upload it. We're going to close that out forget about that for now. Instead what I'm going to do is show you how to embed either this high definition version or again the high quality which is what most of you probably have at this stage. To do that please note there is a new icon here. A lot of people are missing this and therefore missing out on several things with regard to your embedded videos. Let me show you that real quick. Click on this customize icon one of the things you may have noticed recently is that that ridiculous search bar shows up on your embedded videos. Also at the end of videos you're familiar with the fact that related videos will come up for people to watch after the video is completed. Now there are two camps of thought on this new, that you can by the way get rid of that and I'm going to show you here. It has to do with this customize button I just clicked. Two camps of thought on this. Some people say actually having the search bar and the related videos show up is a good thing because if people are visiting your blog and they see that come up, they'll stay on your blog longer or they'll stay on your website longer. I tend to disagree. I think that they're distracting and may actually lead someone away from what you're trying to get them to do, especially if that's buy a product. I tend to like to choose to untick that box. It is it seems to be these days the default, by the way, so make sure in any kind of video you're embedding into a blog or website that you untick that box. Your decision these days if you want to show a border around the video. Lately, I have been including this orange border around my product because I think it looks kind of cool. You can do that in red, green, whatever you want. For this example, I'm going to untick that box. Please note that you're also now allowed to choose the size. You can customize the size of your player. If posting onto a blog, this size is what I choose. The 560 by 345 tends to fit on blogs better. This one is too big, the 640. So once I have that code, here's what I'm going to do little sidetrack there but I wanted to show you that. Now also note that by choosing those options below this code has dynamically updated so all we'll need to do is to copy that and I'm going to actually show you this on a Word document. I'm going to paste that copy in. Now this is the embed code we were just looking at over on YouTube. Here's what you pay attention to. I'm going to put this in bold. All this copy, and it's in here twice, by the way, all this HTML code that falls between the quotes. See these quotes on both sides of this? This is the 
code that you want to pay attention to. And up there at the top, you see I've got, let me get this done, two versions, the high quality and the high definition. Funky looking code, I know, but this is what you want. I'll have this on my blog. You can go take a look at it there. I'm going to copy that and put it here, right in front of that hot pink looking <laughs> uh, end quote there. I'm going to paste it in. And then down below as well, paste it in. I've just done that twice. I'm actually going to put that in red so that it stands out for you. You can see what I'm talking about, where I just put it. Now, do note one other thing. You may not see the ampersand REL equals zero. What that piece of code is, and I'm going to put that in blue, is that means related video equals none. That was because I unticked that box back over on YouTube. No related videos, nor the search bar, are going to show up in my embedded videos because I ticked that box. That is what that piece of code is. If you tick that box, if you checked it off, if you won't see this, your code in between the quotes will actually end here with this fs equals 1. Either way, doesn't matter. The important thing is to go in front of the end quote no matter what. Now let me show you how it looks when you embed that. When I first come back over to the web, I'm going to grab that code again and instead I'm going to show you what it's like to paste that in somewhere. This is my WordPress blog. For those of you that have not upgraded to 2.7 of WordPress, this is what it looks like. Ta-da! Much nicer. Um, I'm going to post this in here. You'll see I've already got it set up. The high quality before and the high quality after. To do that, right now I'm looking at the visual editor. I want to actually put this where the HTML code goes. So I'm going to paste that in. There's the high quality before. It's our control group. We're not going to change that. The high quality after, pasting that in again. I'm going to actually come back over to the visual to grab this piece of code because it didn't look right over here. And in the high quality after, I'm going to paste that in again right here in front of the quote. Voila. And down here again. Voila. Now, before I show you what this is going to look like, I'm actually going to save that draft, and then I'm going to come over here and grab the HD versions of the matte video. Where the hell is matte? This time, notice I am going to include the related videos. I want you to see the difference here and what I'm talking about. Again, make sure the size is correct. I'm going to copy that embed code, come back over to my blog. I'm going to, on the HTML side, paste that code in. See, I've already got this set up for before with related videos showing up. And then below that, the after. To show you what the after is going to look like, let me come back over to grab the it's very similar code you'll see. Um, it just ends in a 22 rather than an 18. Come back over to the HTML side, scroll down, and in the after with related videos, I'm going to paste that in. Again, this time you do not see the REL equals zero. It just goes in right there, front of the quote, and down here again, in front of the quote. Now, to show you the result, I save the draft. And then what I can do is I can preview that. It will show me this in a new window. I'm actually going to not push play to show you the difference because it, I'm using Camtasia it will make the video very choppy I will leave it to you to go over to the blog that's youtubesecretweapon.com forward slash blog where first you'll see the high quality before the high quality after that's with our code that I showed you put into the embed code and if you scroll down below that you will see the before and after of the high definition versions of the where the hell is Matt video that I posted please note with these remember we have included the related videos if you don't know what I'm talking about yet that by not ticking that box over on YouTube I get this ridiculous search bar that shows up above my videos both versions will have this further to that I'll come back over to my PowerPoint to show you this you will also have at the end the related videos that come up. So to get rid of that, you tick that box on the customized player and to have a look at how those videos both look, the before and after, you can simply head over to youtubesecretweapon.com forward slash blog, take a look at those, grab the pieces of code that I just gave to you. Come to think of it, you may even be watching this on my blog. If so, all that information is below. Meanwhile, be sure to check out more information about my new product with Paul Colligan, YouTube Secret Weapon. Strategies on how to get more targeted views on your YouTube videos so you can profit from every video you upload. 
Thanks a lot.